Is that his thing, guys? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, you pick one. This one. You want to pick a one that we haven't flipped over yet? Wait, come here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Good girl. It's good, Frank. It's good, Frank. Yes. You want to go to the greenhouse? Let's go to the greenhouse. I got a whole when you pickle when you pickle you want to heat uh, everything in a stainless steel pan pot because something with the, the metals and the vinegar reacting together and you'll get this like metally taste metallic -y taste in your pickles vinegar salt sugar salt. Um, three tablespoons kosher table spoon I want to use pickling salt much as possible. I don't really know why. If anybody can tell me why, like, like what's the difference? What's the difference between normal salt and pickling salt? So, uh, oh, it's really thick. It's really big. There's six of these. And then two tablespoons sugar, so we need four tablespoons. One, two, Three, four. And then we are going to, over high heat, whisk until the salt and sugar are dissolved. Transfer the liquid into a bowl and whisk in the cold water. Refrigerate brine until ready to use. Yeah. <laughs> My buddy make this knife. Pretty cool. Shout out to Lizzie and Koji, my, my buddies that uh, sent me this recipe. It's a, a quick 24 hour pickling. So you don't can it, no sterilizing. You don't run the risk of them being soggy. They just don't last as long, but they're, I think better. I like crisp, crunchy pickles. I'll put the uh, recipe down below. I've always wanted to say that. Link in the description. <laughs> I, think, I think this is going to be my first vlog. Nice. You know, I've probably already filmed like, probably like 40 minutes worth of stuff over the last week and a half. And not excited about much of it. But you know, you just got to put something out there. Been wanting to film, you know. I started with a blog. I wrote a blog about some bees, and I needed a way to express myself to the world other than social media. And, you know, some creativity, some shazam in my life. 
and I've been an avid, avid YouTube watcher for the past six years. Um, like I don't, I don't watch much TV. And movies kind of bore me, but YouTube, I, I love it, YouTube, and it creates cool communities and just it's great. I love what the vloggers do. There's a handful of homestead vloggers that I follow and farming vloggers and. They're just, they're, they're cool people, and I like seeing what they do every day, and, you know, even if it's like six minutes. So, yeah. I'm really in my life, you know, trying to not indulge to too much. Am I allowed to put on brands? Yeah. Yeah, this ain't TV. Oh. Yeah, sponsor me, Ginger Ale. You know, I'm trying in life to just... Yeah, eat healthier, and live healthier, and be healthier, but every once in a while, Crave a little fucking bubblies, and right now I was craving ginger ale, so I got tiny, the tiny ones. Cause if I get the big ones, I'll feel like garbage, you know? Too much sugar. So the brine's out of the fridge, and it's time to kind of add in some seasoning. Um, I added a little dill already to some of these. I'm gonna do two jars dill, uh, two jars uh, tarragon. Um, local chef out here recommended tarragon. He likes tarragon way better than dill. I don't know how much to do, but we're just gonna wing it. Gotta go grab the garlic. Just harvested this garlic uh, oh, a month ago. Pretty exciting. Raleigh's watching Pocahontas. All I wanted to watch was Aladdin. Okay, so there's the garlic. First time doing that recipe ended up really good with the uh, brine to pickle ratio. Now we're gonna put the lid on and put it in the fridge. These are the first pickles I've ever made. Two tarragon, two dill. Excited to try them out. The bone broth is ready, and basically just took the rest of the carcass from a chicken that we had. What well, had a bunch of food from it the last couple days, and cooked it down in the pressure cooker. But I want to show you guys this. Watch this. It just literally like collapses. All the bone marrow. It's not done yet, so I'm not gonna swallow it, but here we'll do another cook or two, and then we'll be able to mash all these bones in there. It's good, it's good stuff. It sounds a little weird, but that's where bone broth comes from. It's actually cooking down the bone. But I also like mustard and mustard. Me too! Early morning braids with Amanda Walsh. Do you like braiding my hair, Amanda? Yeah. You look like Anna, Daddy. Like Anna from uh, Frozen? Mm -hmm. That's cute. That's what I aim for. Okay, so, are we ready to test them? Here's the dill, here's the tarragon. Like one. I like one. Wait, can I have little ones since yes. I really like pickles? Yeah. Kevin loves pickles. <laughs> I love pickles too. And, uh, 
Yeah, they could probably sit a little longer, but we're gonna try it anyways. Amanda's gotta get going, but um, yeah, so they'll, they'll be still a little crunchy, but wait another day, it'll be phenomenal. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, mm-hmm. I'll just wait. Mmm. That's a good pickle. That is a good pickle. Woo! Now for the tarragon. This was recommended from Seed over at Prima Saltwater. Um, yeah, see how it goes. Here's the tarragon pickle. Mm. That doesn't taste like pickle. That's a good pickle though. I like pickles. It does taste good. It doesn't taste like a pickle. No. No. <laughs> That's no. how Prima does all their pickles. Really? Mm hmm. I've never had pickles Woo! Do you like it? Yeah? It's a little spicy. It's not like a burning spice though, it's just like a little tingle on the, mm -hmm. on the yeah. tongue. Currently headed to grab my little brother. He just got back from Alaska. Listen to the little man. He's a good guy. Yo, what's up, little brother? Hi, yo. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. So, so yeah. Hey, Chelsea. How you doing? I'm good. Anywhere, yeah? anywhere the eye goes is where I go. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna end it here. We just picked up my brother and like Miss Chelsea, like and uh, don't say that. Yo. We don't even we don't even got anything. This is the first one, but uh, we're gonna spend the rest of the day with friends and family, enjoy ourselves, and uh, hopefully see you guys in a couple days. Peace. Dude.